Hello. Hello, Francis. How's it going? All right, thanks. Very well, thank you. Be all in order for tonight, will it? I hope so. This is the idea of the sound check, so we just check things over and see. More sound check from the keyboard player. I mean, you've got here an enormous great hall, and you've got a few speakers to fill it. Are you happy about the sound, the sort of sound you get in a place this big? Yeah, this, this hall was purpose-built. We did play the other one a few years ago, and we played this one last year. This hall has been built. It's well-built for rock and roll. The sound is excellent, so there should be no problems tonight. When you reckon to be the loudest band in the world? No, people have said that about us. Um, and uh, that seems to be a, tr a trend that people want to be the loudest band in the world. For what reason, I don't know. We're loud, yeah. We're by no means the loudest. We don't go for that. We go to play. I mean, some nights it's louder than others anyway, depending on the gig. But we don't go to play. So tonight, really. Prince Charles will be able to hear. <laughs> yes, he will. Yes. <laughs> Let's go back. I mean, congratulations on your, on your 20 years. Thanks. Where and how did it all start? Well, it started at school with Alan and myself. In, uh, we met on a rugby pitch, the story goes, which we did. We got paired off in rugby which I couldn't stand, and he pulled me down. And we started talking, and he was taking music lessons, then tr trumpet lessons, trombone lessons. He's tough. He's tough as well. He's tough, is he? Right? So uh, I took trumpet lessons, and we got out of a lot of other lessons. And uh, it went from there. We decided to buy guitars and try out to form a crew. And uh, we played our first gig, I think, in 62, in uh, Samuel Jones Sports Club in Dulwich, which his dad got for us. His dad got us the gig. And it kind of went from there. We got five pounds for the first show, first week because they passed the hat round, you know and the second time we went back the second week or second month we got two pound so it wasn't so clever <laughs> well we weren't really going upwards then but you know it was a start alan yeah you were here right from the beginning what were you what were you called to start with because you haven't been status quo for 20 years have you oh no we've had a few names uh, i think the first one was the spectres isn't it spectres who we changed it to <laughs> we changed it to traffic jam after that and uh eventually ended up with status quo no deep meaning behind it, we just end up with status quo. It's ironic that status quo means, uh, in a, you know, you exist in state of, state of affairs in unaltered condition, and uh, got, that's, just, that's what we've been not for. <laughs> I got, we've got problems here with, with Rick behind. When did you join in? You, you weren't there 20 years ago, were you? You sort of no, a latecomer. I joined in, as you put it, uh, 16 years ago, so I'm a new boy. I'm just getting it together now. The big hit, the big break came late 60s. Do you remember the year? 68. And the February. song was? Pictures of Magic Men. Things have changed a bit since then. Uh, yeah, they have a bit. I mean, that's, that was where we were groomed then, if you like. I know it's almost an excuse, but um, when a band is struggling, as we were then, and you think success or a hit record is, is really going to change everything and make everything fabulous for you, and it takes you a little while to realise that you know, you're, you're still the same. You wake up in the morning, you feel the same. Everybody treats you the same. Nothing changes, really. And then you realise you've got to mean anything. You've got a lot further to go. Alan, you've really got the big one tonight, haven't you, with Prince Charles coming to your birthday party. How do you feel about it? Well, it feels great because uh, Prince Charles is um, grown up at the same times as us. He's uh, about the same age as us and uh, he's just about seen and done everything. And um, I'm told that this is the first rock concert he's ever attended. So, uh, of course, we're honoured, you know, and it's a, a crown event, so to speak, for our 20th anniversary. One last question. How long can you carry on going for, you know? Another 20, do you reckon, Francis? Sorry, another 20? Well, honestly, yeah. not, not really, but I don't know. It's never been done before. No one's really... Uh, years ago, no one thought that uh, rock and roll or bands could be at the age of, say, 30s and still playing and still physically playing, you know. So it's possible. We could get to 40 years. I mean, 40 years of age. Yeah. Well, I wish you all the best for tonight. Looking forward to it? Of course you are. Silly, yeah. Of course you are. Yeah. And back to your sound check. What are you going to play next? Uh, Roadhouse Blues, I believe. Right, off you go. Good luck. Mind your ears. No, don't mess about it. No, Rick, Rick, Rick. Thank <laughs> you. 